Okay. I also own a farm. Here we go. You are now watching the 2024 season of Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel. We got a lot of stuff sitting around here. So, update on things. This is getting cleaned up. We're just waiting on parts. This is cleaned up. We're just waiting on parts. Um, pickup is warming up. A little chilly this morning. Like an airplane. Um, Dunham has the spring order. They never restocked the spring that we got on the other side. Because, uh, well, nowadays, not a lot of people run camelbacks anyways, you know. It takes a man. But what we have to do today is we got to get the spring out of the trunnion. So cut the U-bolts, get the spring out. I thought about having them rebuild that spring pack. It would save us some money. But long term, if that spring lasted us 50 years, this truck 50 years of proper, mate, proper usage. Granted, we are probably hauling heavier than what this truck was used to clearly with the dump trailer around the yard, but that was one short little thing. Um, but manure trailer's heavy. We're hauling big loads. These are big boy loads. Lo these are big boy loads. So at the end of the day, um, having two stability um, leaf springs makes a big difference, I think. Everything's the same. Plus we're gonna have new isolated pads. So everything should be pretty good. I know this truck is gonna need brakes this winter. Um, just to make sure we're at 100% on all of that. Because when you're rolling down the road, you want to stop. Yes, our fifth plate uh, looks like it needs to be greased. Well, yeah, I pressure washed it. But the other day I stopped and Zach Newton always enforces this. Every, every shit truck, well, every truck should really have a hammer. So we were at Harbor Freight the other day. Um, Robert needed ratchet straps because he got a TV stand. Robert does not live with me. He's got his own place. So I got, if you don't know, you go in the back and it's got like the open box stuff. So it was missing two of these smaller ones, which these are the two sizes I usually need. And I upgraded some more wrenches. So every time we go, the, you see something, you're like, that would work good in the toolbox. That's how you build the tools you need. But two new hammers, big upgrades, one in each truck. I'm always looking for a hammer. Tractor needs a hammer, combine needs a hammer. So, com where the combine is at, um, honestly, we're waiting on parts, I should call them. Um, this coupler, I was told by a gentleman, I gotta email, text you back, to replace this coupler. Um, he said it's cheap insurance that it always runs. Um, Cause he is right, when that blows out, you gotta take it all back apart. Well, feed the pigs up, we gotta run over to Aaron's shop. Grab Isaiah's big gun. We'll see Isaiah, it's been a quick minute. They've been wrapped up with corn harvest as far as chopping for, I don't even know, a week now. And uh, they're working on trucks for hauling grain. They got trucks out doing high moisture. And uh, it's coming, it is coming. What's up boys? We got everybody here, so. They are looking amazing. My old housemate is gonna butcher them for me. <laughs> I am I am 100% pumped about them. They have come out absolutely amazing. Um, you're getting to the size. So we'll feed you guys in a second because it takes a few more scoops. And we got the boys. What's up? How's the pasture out front? You got more burdocks, you're doing great cleaning. So we kicked them off that back pasture up there around the pond. They did an amazing job there. They're down below and I'll probably fence that again and they can go up to there, but I'll green them and we'll jump over and see Isaiah. So appreciate you guys watching along. Make sure you're liking and subscribing. That uh, keeps this channel growing, keeps us uh, having the ability to get you guys content. Here's Aaron's Freightliner, getting loaded up with high moisture from Matt Schultz. That skips. Yes, the combine's running. They are doing high moisture. I don't do high moisture. 
well we we've done high moisture and then it's got to get dried out we're trying not to do high moisture um and honestly we did that little bit of custom work last year and i'm going to do a little bit of custom work oh there goes a pea stain too with sawdust see iron trucks are rolling um we could be moving manure a little bit today but honestly it's not going to be till next week rolling back into it um drag line crews and the guys are jumping around and stuff like that they're transferring for some drag lines direct drag in so it's a good week to catch up on some of our stuff um what was i gonna say the last year we did a little bit of uh custom work there it didn't pay out i know there's some custom guys that are around that love doing custom work um i've heard 50 dollars an acre to combine which is it does pay out pretty well but at the end of the day um i don't want to do custom keep the i'll do it for the people i directly work with and help they help me and i help them but otherwise doing custom for me really doesn't appeal that well um we do enough custom manure hauling um, that that is a much better alternative than running the combines for somebody else's fields in my eyes I'm set up for custom manure hauling and I'm not set up for custom combining. So, yeah. I'll give you guys some insight in my business mind. Somebody tell me in the comments, am I wrong? Should I do custom? Is there big money in custom? Tons of money in custom? Things are great. Things are good. That's where all the money is. Let me know. Yeah, I got enough to combine for myself. Okay, we are, we got the gun. As it is in there working on dump trailer getting it all ready there he is right there duffy egg sweatshirt on old baylor is outside ready to leave <clears throat> big things happen always yeah i need a little service up 27 gonna do its thing again we'll pick this right up so if you haven't watched previous video um broken leaf spring on this side yeah replacing the whole pack we're not rebuilding anything due to uh this truck how much it's worked for me and uh, how much i've done so got new u-joints coming saddle we got to get this apart last time we did it on the other side we tried hooking it to this in the 75 didn't work hooked it to the tree pulled it apart then the u-bolts took us some so we're gonna over grabbed isaiah's gun i'm gonna get it lifted out we're gonna see if uh, we can get it apart we can get u-bolts out of there and then probably have to hook it to the tree again so that we can uh get it apart for tomorrow when the new one comes in so yeah We're just waiting on parts on the 75 or on the 8820. Okay. 
probably going to have to cut the U-bolts and then oh, from there heat everything again. the best angle is always a, a decision there I want to see if I can get this to spin get them out last time I had Robert we hammered we heated I'd rather not heat it I know that did not help me I don't think I don't believe this is on high let me pull up the app and see what we got I got one to spin so far Which is better than last time. We got none last time. Okay, we'll keep working. Got it a little heated up. I'd say they're pretty well shot. Okay. Two more to go. A little heat, and this time it's working. So without really hammering on these and trying to get them off and heating them, I just used a piece of the leaf spring. See if that will pull it out because we're into horrible threads so it's fighting it even more. I cut off the end hoping that maybe uh, it was stuck on some. I regret it. I thought I was filming it for you guys. but So I cut that and now I got some slag all around it. Probably break that all off. Ah. Uh. Figure the battery's dead. Get it all heated up and no battery. Ugh. Another battery's not. 
not charged yet. So that was a waste. I got a small battery, but they don't last very long. While I let the batteries charge up, um, that way we stop heating and then going back and forth. Um, I'll let it charge up. That's what we really need. We'll mess with the corn head. Um, previously, Robert washed it down for us. What we have to do is, on the front here, every one of the sprockets has a grease fitting, including the one underneath here. Don't forget about that one. And then that drain plug, well, fill plug right there, we got to put corn, corn head oil in it corn head grease and somebody did say put some corn head grease and a mixture of oil combo we haven't had an issue yet um that was somebody personal told me that i gotta look back to check this it's got to be on the combine clearly so lower head to ground and check um as far as oil we should be good on that because it, we didn't have any oil leaks and then i believe there's grease fittings across the back so that's easier done once it's on the combine and picked up. Um, you can slide right underneath it. But other than that, there's not much to these heads. Um, yeah, this one's been pretty good to me. So let me climb up there, walk across, grease all those, and then go back and pull the, each drain plug out, switch corn head, grease in there. Before I get up there, because I know it's gonna do this, get up there and then all of a sudden it's out of oil, out of uh, grease out of it. Let me grab another grease cartridge. I got it in the pickup. Pickup's turning into a mess. That's the only way to describe it. And I always get people that tell me, why don't you put a service body on your pickup? Because someday I'd like to make that nice again and like clean the interior and make it back into my go into town vehicle and have a actual what do you think service vehicle service truck and we do need to get around farm car but that's someday that's not today and i know people uh, they tell me i dream too much and i should just do this or do that well the whole reason we got to this point was because we were dreaming we said we wanted to farm for ourselves and have our own farm and look at us we're here now so let me run down grease these Okay, they are all greased. All the chains look good, the tensioners look good, they're all moving well. Um, yeah, we actually got a whole, do we got two head, head chains, gathering chains? Are they considered gathering chains? I don't know the terminology. This is only my second year crop farmer. Um, let me see if I can turn this around and get the ones underneath here. I think that's how we did it. Otherwise, you've got to unbolt that and unbolt down there. Where are we at? Can you guys see down there? I can't. Oh, wait, those things don't move. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they're the top side of the shafts. Never mind, that doesn't work that way. You okay. can't. So, can I get to it from underneath here? Yeah, I can get to it from underneath here. <sighs> this thing ain't perfect. She's had some days, but honestly, this thing worked pretty good last year. I <sighs> spent some more time over there. That was not good. So, let me uh, pop all these out. We're going to see before we change and put any corn oil. Probably shouldn't have any leaking. I did just realize that I'm very low on oxygen and acetylene. So... That's not good either. So first one needed a few pumps in it. Um, which is, that's not the end of the world. <sighs> I guess 
see. Oh, this one's actually all clean. That's cool. James had one of these gearboxes grenade and he was able to get one real quick. I think it was a used one. Is this the best thing to be using to take them off? No, but if you put it on the low setting on the small gun, it works okay. Ah, that ain't too bad. So, as you see, it's a little black in there and whatnot, but got corn head grease in it. Put that down in there. Pump till it's full. And repeat. So, over a quarter of the way done. Clean this up, put it back in, jump down to the next toe. And as I'm going, I can actually drop these heads back down the cones and then uh, pull this out of the way because like I said the next ones that we got to do they got to be the combines got to pick it up or we got to lay on the ground it's pretty wet on the ground right now I should grab the pins and put them in as I go that way And these just lock back in easy enough so this was a metal head everything was metal all the shrouds and uh, they upgraded them to the plastic ones and the poly and I like them um, they're definitely not perfect I did learn that see those can come out and these heads can lift right up and off which I did not know that so when we moved them that would have been a lot better but working on them if we got a big issue that's easy enough to pull that so we don't have to climb on and off all the time um oh those don't why do these these got to be a different design or something never mind i ate my words i don't know last one done okay um so everything else on here we can lube that chain up but it should be running when we lube it get it all nice um everything else is done um other than what we got to do when the head is actually on or when the yeah when the head when the platform is it a platform i'm gonna call it a head i don't think it's considered a head But we're all done. I'm gonna get off here. Keep messing with that trunnion and the leaf. Get that apart. Because then tomorrow going back together should be really nice. Um, I do have to get this ready. We got one thing to do. <laughs> okay. Took a while. That took way longer than it should have. We got it. We got one more to go. Woo! Yeah. Gonna have to heat it. Okay. Probably flip it over too so I can see what I'm doing. Woo! Yeah. I actually went in, had lunch. Answer some emails. Um, what else do we do? Edited a video while I was eating lunch. But, uh, whew, that's a win. That is a big win. Um, how am I going to do this? It's going the wrong way. It's amazing how much stuff battles you. Amazing.
go. Now I just gotta get it split apart. Which we know how to do that now. No point in messing around. Okay, we'll go chain that to a tree. Let me get the 75 uh, started up. That way it can uh, warm up for a little bit before we go put it through its paces. It's a windy day, but it's nice out. If it wasn't windy, it wouldn't be so chilly. I do see we're supposed to be back in the 70s, which will be really nice. Chilly. Yes, planner still has to go somewhere. I agree. So today is October 16th. Six years ago, this rolled in um, after I purchased it from, I believe it was Missouri. I think the tag on it says Kansas from where it was originally from. Yeah. I'll read it for a sec, hold on. I believe it's been, so I've had it for six, six years now. Um, it sat out in the, it was weather, very. Close Bros in Oakley, Kansas. Um, if anybody's out that way, I've looked them up before. Can't really find any literature on them. Um, I'm sure they got bought out by some dealership at some point. But that's the tag from when it was sold new, which is pretty cool, still on the hood. Um, but it is getting weathered over time, so. But, alrighty, let's go out and uh, let me grab another. Is there a chain on the back of that? That would have been cool too. Nope, no chain. So, need two sets of chains. The one thing I did forget, ah, tape, electrical tape, wrap them, that way it doesn't pull away. And that bucket, Robert says, was not just randomly there. He used it for uh, sitting there to hunt. <laughs> so, oh, we're chained. We just gotta get some um, tape. When we go down and get the 75, I'm gonna leave this up here. So a little bit of walking, not bad for us. Um, yeah. Okay, um, as always, because somebody's gonna point it out, these are non-live PTOs, so they spin, but if I grab onto that handle, it doesn't have a PTO brake uh, on the, onto the PTO, um, it will stop. That's just how they are. If somebody's no 7520s better than me, let me know, but I've been pretty well into this one. So do I need to tape them? No. Does it make me feel better that they're not gonna pop apart? Yeah. I'm hoping this just comes right apart nice and easy. And it's apart. So take the 75 back down. We got the 27 here. Pick that up, bring that down. That goes in the junk pile. We're not rebuilding it. Uh-uh. Nope. That clean it up and it's ready for tomorrow when we get all the components to put it, the Mac back together so while I got the 75 warmed up I might as well push it a little bit of a well they get two loads I think of fill down below um, that have been sitting there for a little bit we'll push them over grade it out what's up buddy thinks we're leaving the boys are looking good maintaining this stuff we still got to pick things up I haven't figured out the box trailer, where it's going to go or what, if I want to load it or what I want to do. Um, that's still up there and it's not like we really got a ton of time to just go mess around with that at the moment. So this was just ditch diggings, I believe. There's an as asphalt I see there, which is good for fill.
just get loads as they do things and push them in the spot. Trying to make it a le less of a steep grade so we can maintain it a lot better. It's working out pretty good. Yes, it might be windy, um, but I figured I'd give you guys a shot. It was, t -t 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 -t, I'm trying to think now, 13 years ago, that was the first experiences I really got into liquid manure. And the biggest benefit, as far as consistency across crops, um, it's starting to fade out a little bit. Here's my grass crop. Let me see if it shows up on the GoPro. And then you can see this green line where I drove away with uh, the tanker. And it was open, it was a little heavy. But this is late fall, and then there's a big puddle there where we tried field spreading and made a mess. Um, this is late fall, and it's just showing how much that helped that grass keep growing compared to where it's yellow over here. I don't know if the GoPro is gonna do justice or not. We might, I don't know. But the other day when I pulled in, I was like, holy smokes, look at that. So, we're gonna get the 2755. We gotta do some roadway maintenance through here probably isaiah with the skids here does a much better job it dips down here now where we dug since we didn't compact anything and we might have to do a little bit of site work out back here got to see exactly what our plan is but yeah i knew there was a reason why we went 60 foot with hard pipe i guess you guys are gonna have to stay tuned for that and if you're not go subscribe so you can be up to date on everything Pastures are about finished up, so we're gonna have to start feeding the boys. Um, they're gonna finish out front in the yard. Like I said, they'll probably get the hillside, but grass isn't, it's not nutritious to them um, at that point. It's dying, it's becoming dormant. But I did spray all the fence lines. Gotta go through string, trim them. What are you doing, puppy dog? So we're getting our steps in the watch actually say so, oh yeah we're fit <laughs> it counts when you're in the tractor bouncing around okay 27 was sitting here and i said you know what we should really figure out why we did not have front lights um so we had actually let me show you so what we had was this light here none in the front i think the back works still right? yep back works still and took the dash apart and there's some relays here and this fuse was actually in this one so i just took a fuse just to see and as you see now we got all the lights again so it just had a bad fuse hopefully there's not a long-term issue but fuses do get weak we grab a fuse throw it in there put the cover back on lights all work again should have done that a while ago picking priorities because all our other lights work on this, I think, right now. So see our front lights work right now because it's high beam, low beam. So actually, now they're off. Yep. Actually, this light bulb's burnt out. That one works, but this one doesn't. And that light bulb up there. Should switch those over to LED um, at some point. They're just brighter. 7520 has all LED. Um, I do not have a fuse for this. I should change all three. I don't have... I got straight fuses because these things use straight fuses and stuff like that. 
But when was the last time I actually needed a fuse? A fuse. Okay, we had a box of them in the pickup actually. These are 25s, but put all three in, put the cover back on, call it good for a while. Get the panel back on here since we fixed everything up front, the leak, and so on. So, I don't know. It's been a, I don't know the last time I ever saw fuses in the relays, but does that happen in Europe? Because this tractor is technically built, it was, well, it was built in Germany, right? Or were they France? Yeah, they got some corrosion on them. All three, good peace of mind. There we go. Yep, lights are on. We're good. I always forget, that says Moline on it, but when you look at the actual motor, the actual tag, that was the cab. Mannheim, Germany. West Germany. So, alrighty. I'm gonna go rotary mow up and around, um, mainly so I can figure out what I'm doing for a pathway across out back. Well, this stuff's moving along. Uh, I'm actually driving up and around the back because we got our access point out and then we have property on the other side of the access point so I want to make sure we can get combine back and forth and then uh, trucks in and out well buggy in and out as far as loading trucks up there um, so I'm just gonna cruise up there see exactly what it looks like refresh my memory so that we can uh, make it happen at a later date probably tomorrow or something i want somebody with me when we're cutting trees and doing stuff but yeah corn's uh moving along so here we are at the very back corner of my property here um neighboring properties right there but the snowmobile trail used to come right through here they started austin started cutting this tree and then had a dull saw and stopped so that's not actually very good uh, but what i gotta do to be able to get from here over to we got quite a bit of corn across the road here we're gonna go look at um we're gonna cut some trees down here grade this out and then make it probably a 40 foot culvert going across here um which we do got to put a culvert in because there's a little well it's not too bad we might be able to just drive right out of it but cut these trees here Grade it out. Probably need an excavator in here. I'm gonna go over to there and see what that corn looks like. I have not looked up that corn in a while, so this comes out on the gravel road just up next past my past my road. So quite the spread here. So I did not expect this corn to do very well down in this bottom. Um, it's lacking a lot of lime, and we got into it. Um, but expectations over here to get going because a lot of this hadn't been worked in a long, long time. If uh, that's what we got to deal with, which I think this is the worst of the corn here. You can see where I came in and out with the sprayer. Is this gonna be the really red corn? I got, I had some from channel last year and it looked like candy corn, but uh, short. And if it builds an ear like that, I'll be satisfied. Um, inputs here weren't as high it does need to get some lime but this was ground that hadn't been worked in years and years and years so that ain't too bad for what it is and like i said it's this lower section it gets good over on the other side of the property it gets really nice this is the one with all the ponds around it so hell of a spread here that's where i had my mishap and we seeded it down it looks like it's growing now but, uh, yeah, this corn is on point out front here. I'm very excited for that. It's some hill. It's got some elevation change. It hadn't been worked up and somebody told me 30 years, so it's doing its thing. Uh, I'm just gonna go down to the end, turn around and mow my way back out. But I like this landowner. Keeps things tidy, does a good job. Um, first year farming with them and Excited to keep that going. Oh yeah, that's gonna be nice. He mowed all the way up to, I wonder how he mowed that. 
looks like a sickle bar so maybe he's got an attachment now but planted a bunch of trees along keeps keeps the view out or keep drive by if you're seeing once they're growing but previously there was a lot of round bales left here and somebody asked about those and well they're in a pile here um i told them we gotta let them break down for a while and then uh i'll i'll get them spread out on the field probably have somebody spread them for me um, just to clean it up because they don't look very good i have got to say it's not going to do justice on here but the moon is right up there it's just gorgeous out after harvest we've got to level some of this stuff out smooth it out make it good we got some water and all our ditches that run everywhere oh i never took this pipe back with us there's two other pipes up here nothing running right now for water out of there which is good it means the ground's not saturated it has been running but this is the ditch we got dug right up through and as you see it's got water in it so it's doing its thing which is very important um yeah hoping this <laughs> people have said this is gonna pay off for years to come for you making these ditches nice cleaning everything not that well, not that long ago this was open um it just got saturated and grew up with brush um but yeah that's all cleaned up i kind of want to see my hole because i never filled the hole in we do have to dig some tile this well late fall or early spring we got to see how our season goes I got a gentleman that has offered to help with tile that knows a lot more about tile than pretty much everybody I know. And he's uh, very good with, well, soil, water, topography. But this was our hole that I dug. And as we see, it's got water down in the bottom of it still. Well, I was thinking there was a tile line that came down through here. Wow, that is a, doesn't do justice. Um, that tile line goes across and out, unless it's somewhere off to the side. So he could pull it out from um, looking at aerial pictures of it, saying this is where your tile lines are. I cannot do that. I'm not good. Up until buying this property, we never tiled anything. We never needed to. Sand. But I hate having this as a wasteland right now because it was wet this spring. We couldn't plan into it. Probably could have came back later, put something into it. But we'll get it worked up this fall so it's good in the spring. And then all our other tile lines out. Hopefully we'll pay off long term. So I went up and through and mowed everything last time um, for myself and for the gentleman that hunt here. So curious on this tile outlet if it's leaking or well oh, running, I guess. Doesn't sound like it. Nope. So we're good there. Oh no, it's dripping. There's some excess water in it. We got some cleaning up to do. Bulldozer will be useful sooner than later here. Probably level most of this stuff out and then farm into it. Should be pretty good soil. What are you doing out there? Ankle's still hanging out. It's fun looking back and feeling accomplished. When I was digging, though, I was pretty bored. But some good rains and made them nice and wide right back to original state. But yes, we got to clean this stuff up. That way we can have a roadway where this stuff is. That goes around everywhere and makes long-term things pretty good. And I got to put a bigger 
deeper down there because uh, clearly the water's sitting here and it all slopes that way. Isn't the end of the world though because at that point that water is drastically below any level that is uh yeah this is the one i messed up <laughs> but this worked out i just need to clean it up Alrighty, that's probably going to do it for today to be honest go in and make some dinner and uh tomorrow's another day i think i got oh i forgot there's a pot, thing of metal from the previous one um Tomorrow I got Robert, I think, half day. He'll be over. We're going to do some logging, get that opened up some. Um, ooh, we got the spring. So if I have him, that makes my life so much better. Uh, but appreciate you guys. Another successful day. Day closer to harvest. Day closer to being ready. So see you guys on the next one. Have a good one.